You won't find any low-fat foods at my house, unless we're talking about the carrots. When the low-fat orthodoxy swept North America in the 70s and 80s, I just ignored it. Partly because it didn't taste very good, and partly because the anti-fat zealots were having a hard time proving that low-fat diets made anyone, anywhere, any healthier. On the other hand, there's pretty good evidence to suggest that low-fat snack foods, cookies, not carrots, actually encourage people to overeat and gain weight. There's a large and growing body of evidence that suggests you're far better off eating fat than being fat. There's a big difference. And no, eating fat does not necessarily make you fat. Consuming more calories than you burn makes you fat. What does science really say about low-fat diets? A massive eight-year study of 50,000 women in the United States found that a low-fat diet offered no protection from heart attack, stroke, breast cancer, or colon cancer. And just last year, another huge study of 25,000 people by researchers at the University of Cambridge found that adding healthy fats like olive oil to your diet reduced the risk of heart problems, while simply cutting so-called unhealthy fats was far less effective. Balance is key here. Fats are much too complex to explain in this little segment, but the basics are not. Your body needs a balance of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates to run well. The fat portion of your diet should include a few essential fatty acids that your body needs but can't produce. You've probably heard of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Both affect the heart and the brain, but in a good way. You can get omega-3s from fish and omega-6s from nuts and vegetable oils. You can get both from grass-fed beef and bison, and you'll get both from olive oil. Even our old friend butter, sidelined for so many years by margarine, is a complex blend of different fatty acids, some of which actually help your body to regulate the amount of fat in your blood after eating. So loosen up a bit. A life without butter may not make you live any longer, but it will almost certainly feel that way. Studies that link fats and fatty diets to a bad health outcome, for instance, death, often just mask the truth. That is, if you eat a lot of fat and meat, chances are you're probably overweight and possibly sedentary. Science is not divided on the effects of obesity and a sedentary life. Your risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, and nearly every other disease is elevated by obesity. Now, cutting fat is a pretty convenient way to reduce calories and lose weight, just like those low-carb diets. Both approaches are radical and could even be dangerous. Keep some healthy fats on the menu substitute them for some of the animal fats in your diet, reduce your calories with smaller portions, and burn a few calories walking. Ask your doctor. I'd be surprised if she said any different. I'm Randy Shore for Empowered Health.